Welcome Kingdom Citizens. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. On this YouTube channel, we cover the Velocity Banking concept, Infinite Banking, and Kingdom Authority. In this video, we're going to be discussing Kingdom Authority. I believe that it is necessary for you to discover your authority, your area of gifting in this lifetime, in this world, on planet Earth while you're living so that you can fulfill your destiny, fulfill your purpose, fulfill your righteous desires here on Earth. In order to do that, you need to know where your credibility lies in, where your authority lies in. The moment you discover, or I should say rediscover your authority here on planet Earth, the stress levels in your life are going to drastically decrease and your fulfillment, happiness, joy, love levels are going to dramatically increase because you're operating in your area of gifting. When you combine your time, talent, and treasure all together, you've got a gift, my friend. So let's dive into the lesson. Today, I want to share with you really an opportunity for you to look deep inside. The topic is all about rediscovering your authority here on planet Earth. All right. And there's four layers of authority that I want to discuss with you. And I encourage you to do your own research, do your own due diligence. Let's combine the information that you gather with the information that I gather. Trust, but verify the data, right? So with that being said, in order to understand authority, we need to know where does it come from? What is it? All right. So the very first layer of authority is the highest layer, which is the author. Okay. The root word I believe in Greek is author. Okay. English author. If you are the author of something such as a book, that means you are the source of that book. You wrote the words, you get to be the author, the originator of that material. So when the books go on the shelves and people buy, they see your name, right? They see the source, where it came from. Very simple example of author. Now, if you want to rediscover your authority, you need to know where authority comes from for your life. So we have to deal with, well, who is the author of my life? I have come to the conclusion that the author of my life is God, Jehovah, the Father, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Trinity, all in one this omniscient, omniscient being, this all-powerful, all-knowing, immaterial being that operates outside of space, time, matter, is my author. So if you haven't come to that conclusion yet, you have to discover that for yourself through research, through due diligence, through experience, through conversation, through debate, through dialogue, however it is. But once you get there, now you know who your author or i should say your manufacturer is you've identified okay the author is my manufacturer another word creator another word author author okay with that being said if you're the author of something the originator the source of something you have authority which leads to my second level second layer right here authority I think the root word to that is octorum I don't know if it's reverse you can do your research and see what you come up with but octorum authority the author has authority to do what with the material so go back to my book example if I write a book you write a book you're the author you have authority to sell the book because you know everything about it so you can market sell it write contracts, do sponsorships, do speaking engagements, TEDx talks, make video content, make posts, make pictures, blogs, you name it. You have the authority 
to do that. So that is a second level. When you're looking at yourself to determine, okay, I'm gonna rediscover my authority so that I can fulfill my purpose in life. You have to go through this process. We say, okay, the author is my manufacturer, the creator who has authority over my life to determine what it is, the will, what is the will of my author for my life here on earth. So authority. So author has authority. If you have authority over a thing, you have authorization. You are authorized to now deliver a message. So you and I, we're trying to figure out our gifts in life. We're trying to make money. We're trying to pay off debt. We're trying to start cash value life insurance policies. We're trying to invest in real estate. We're trying to start a business. We're trying to start a YouTube channel. We're trying to do all these things. Okay. You need credibility. You need experience. So think of it as you being a US citizen, you got to go through a process. There's an education system, K through 12. Then there's college, right? Then there's postgraduate school, right? After that, then you start your career. Or maybe you don't have to go through any of those things after K through 12, and then you just go right into starting a business, okay? There's a process. You gain experience in whatever career, whatever activity you're doing. And guess what? From K through 12, the Board of Education authorizes Denzel Rodriguez to be to graduate from elementary, graduate from middle school, to then high school, to then college. Then I go to a corporation who they authorize me. They're the author, they have authority, and they authorize me to get a job, work for them, get paid, right? And I get to be, it's my last layer here of authority, I get to be authentic in how I do what it is that I do best because I am the only Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez that exists here on planet earth. There will never be another Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez that will look exactly identical as me. There will never be another one of me. There never was, there never will be another after I'm gone. Same goes for you. You are one copy. That's it. So if you believe that, that that is absolutely true, well, just that alone makes you authentic. Kind of like a painting uh, 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 that has only been painted one time, you know, or certain artifacts, you know, for example, the I think there's a, a I think there's an artifact out there with the the spear that uh, punctured Jesus Christ. I believe that's in that's an artifact. I believe that exists somewhere. I'm not sure. But there's only one that did that. Then you've got multiple versions of authentic things, such as vehicles, museums, and houses, and buildings, and you name it. Go on and on and on. It's either one copy or maybe it's a multiple of copy, but only so many and it's been signed by a particular person, get it, the author, follow me. So we got these different levels. To recap, you got the author, authority. Authority comes from the author. Once the author has authority, it has authorization to expand. It's authorized to manage, to grow, to build, to sell, to market, and does it authentically, right? So when we're looking at our own lives, I visit the author, my king, my creator, my manufacturer, and I ask, King, what is your will for me here on planet Earth? I need authority. I have a dream. I have a passion. I have this skill. I want to be a financial coach. I want to be a financial consultant. I want to make videos. I want to teach people how to get out of debt, maximize their cash flow, pay off debt, invest money, save money, build wealth, pass wealth leave things for their children, put their children in, a, in an awesome position. Lord, I need authority from you because I am acting on your behalf, not as myself. See, this is the issue that I think a lot of you are dealing with is you're trying 
to do things by yourself alone in this world. You're trying to build a business by yourself. You're trying to make money by yourself. You're trying to do everything by yourself, especially my moms out there, these single moms, divorced moms, widowed moms, trying to do everything by yourself. You don't realize how much easier, simpler, and more effective it is to get under authority from your author, right? So take a, take a step back and see, okay, I'm struggling. I'm in debt, low cash flow. Things aren't looking pretty in my life. Why could I potentially be operating outside of authority under a different jurisdiction? That is either oppressive, preventing me from reaching my maximum potential. So that's why you have to take a step back, talk to the author, repent, which simply means to change your way of thinking, right? So we want to change your way of thinking and, and we need to discover where does my authority lie with my king? Okay, king, now that you give me authority, I need to be authorized. How do I get authorized? Study to show yourself approved. You need some experience. Get out there. Make a few calls. Make a few sales. Go speak. Get on Clubhouse. Get on these social media platforms. Share your message. Okay? Or, matter of fact, instead of trying to do it all by yourself, get under someone else's authority in the area of your gifting. So once you discover your area of gifting, where your time, talent, and treasure lies, it would be wise for you to find someone that is doing what you're doing successfully. And maybe they can speed up the process. They can authorize you in their business. They give you authorization. And then if they're the right type of leader, they can allow you to be authentic. Where you can be you. You don't have to surrender you for someone else's will. No, no, no. You get under their will. You get under their authority and you're manifesting what it is that they want to do in their corporation, but you get to do it authentically, not like a robot. You, you're the only one in that Fortune 500 company or whatever it is. And you get to build and you get to grow and manage and have the authorization to do so. So these are the levels of authority. Now, here, coming to this side, is an example of once you've discovered your authority, how you can potentially practice that authority here on Earth, okay? I want to introduce you to the kingdom of heaven and the will of the king of that domain, heaven, and what their intent is for you and I here on earth to deliver the king's will here on earth. The king's will, the king's desire is to deliver his will through his creation. The thing that he authored, he authored you, created you. And then he says, I give you dominion, which is the kingdom. I give you access. I give you authority. You are now authorized you have authorization, and because you're so unique, you're gonna do it authentically, and you're gonna love it. And the way we do that is through this word right here, ecclesia, root word in Greek, ecclesia, Greek, okay? The Greeks invented it, the Romans implemented it, the British and the European nations expanded it, and once it came to the US, it was never established. There were no ecclesiastical courts established in the US, Okay, so through a multitude of generations, this word has translated to church. And the, nef the definition of church has been diluted to just religion instead of kingdom. So I want to share with you the root meaning of these words and what they mean for you and the potential power that it has to free you from your bondage chains, the chains that bind you. Okay, the things that delay you from success. 
So inside of the ecclesia, another word, church, meaning simply called assembly, the called out ones. It's a political cabinet with a purpose of manifesting the will of the king to the people. So once you discover your authority, you combine your time, talent, and treasure, you now have a gift. You come together with others who also know their authority, who are also authorized, who are also authentic, and you collaborate and you come together in common unity through a common wealth, right? And you surrender what you think you know about everything and be totally open to receiving everything that the king wants to give you because the king has gave you access. You just need to get under the right authority in order to access the keys of the kingdom, right? So the Ecclesia is a political cabinet with ambassadors, with the purpose of manifesting the will of the king to the people, which then leads us to what? Ecclesiastical authority, which is given by whom? Jesus Christ, the author. Uh-oh. So we have author developing the Ecclesia, the king appoints, this isn't a voting process. You're given a gift, you're given talent, you're given treasure, you gotta discover it. Now you're called out. Now you're part of a group. That group now has ecclesiastical authority given by Jesus Christ, which leads us to a way of living. If you're gonna be under authority, you gotta live a certain way. Those of you who are US citizens, you gotta live a certain way. There are certain laws here in the United States that you and I have to abide by. One of them is paying taxes. One of them is being a good Samaritan. One of them is being a good citizen, not breaking the law, not stealing, killing, robbing, manipulating, tax evasion, deception, fornication, abandoning children, domestic violence, domestic abuse, sexual abuse. These are all crimes, right? These are things that are outside evil doings that affect the morality that affect the constitution, that affect the ways, the society, how the society lives here in the US. So those evil acts that is against the law, once it is broken, there is a consequence, right? So what I'm saying to you is maybe the reason why you are not successful is either A, you're breaking the law, and it's not maybe as severe as something like domestic violence, domestic abuse, sexual abuse, robbing a bank, but you could be potentially abusing yourself by telling yourself that you are less than authentic. Hmm. You could be shut out from access to resources because of your bad behavior, your bad attitude. Nobody wants to hang out with you. You could potentially be bitter where it, it's so hard to get positivity into your life because you've been so oppressed for so many years under wrong jurisdiction, under wrong authorities. Maybe your mommy, maybe your daddy wasn't there. Maybe mommy was there, but beat you up all the time. And daddy was there and beat mom up. So that caused you to have a pettiness towards women or, or pettiness towards men. And maybe you just attract the wrong men in your life. Uh-oh, I'm hitting some nerves here. Let me, let, me, let me bring it back. So when we're looking at our authority here on earth, right? And we're looking at why, why hasn't it worked for me, okay? Maybe it's this right here, maybe. We can dive into it together. Let's rediscover that authority of yours, okay? Let's learn the levels of authority. And here's a potential place where you can practice that authority with a group of people so you're not alone. So coming back, you got the Ecclesia, which is the overseer, the structure where you can practice your authority with an assembly, congregation, a political cabinet of people collaborating together to manifest the will of the king because they agreed to set their differences aside and come together in common unity. They now have ecclesiastical authority given by Jesus Christ. And then they're able to establish ecclesiastical laws and deal with matters. What are the matters? Ooh, something such as, hey, I, I need a house. 
I need, I need a car, I need a business, I need funding, I need capital. I wanna start a YouTube channel, I wanna be a coach, I wanna be a consultant, I wanna build a construction business, I wanna build a trucking business. Okay, you need support, you need capital, you need help, you need resources, you need a team to do that. So the ecclesiastical, the ecclesia deals with ecclesiastical laws and matters, which leads us to the final part here, which is ecclesiastical sovereignty, which is a sacred place where, you, where we can conduct ourselves together in privacy, right? And totally squarely outside of any authority of every other commercial regulated jurisdiction where we do not have to acquiesce, but we can come together under common unity and do the things that we need to do. And that, my friend, is codified and explained, laid out in our United States tax code, Title 26508C1A, where we have a mandatorily tax accepted status where we can operate through the ecclesia, the church. We can worship, we can gather, we can syndicate, cash flow to create and acquire cash flow vehicles and be completely tax accepted, meaning no tax owed whatsoever, which means I just eliminated your number one expense, which is taxes, which puts you in a very good financial cash flow position, which allows you to free your family and many others along the way. And now you are truly in your authority. So this is something to ponder on. Hey, I don't know everything. I'm learning just like you are. If you found this video very helpful, reach out, go to my website, get in contact with me. You wanna work with me one-to-one? -one? I'm a financial consultant, financial coach. I am an ambassador for the kingdom of heaven here on earth, providing voluntarily financial counsel to those who want it. If you seek it, you shall receive it, my friend. Seek the kingdom first, all these things will be added onto you. I urge you, I encourage you to do your own due diligence. Check me out, Google me. Check out my YouTube channel. See where I'm coming from. See the work that I put in place so far. See what others have done before you, right? You can gather the information that you need and then very accurately and effectively proceed with your mission, with your purpose here on planet Earth. Again, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, personal finance geeks of the 21st century. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Talk soon.